In this video, I set out an overview of the planned new CBAM reporting obligations facing importers of certain goods starting from the 1st of October this year. CBAM will initially impact imports into the EU of certain products in the aluminium, cement, iron and steel, fertilizers, electricity and hydrogen sectors. The full rollout of CBAM will culminate in a CBAM carbon price payable by importers on the covered goods from 2026. I'll also share with you our key recommendations to ensure that you are CBAM ready. Let's start with an overview of what CBAM is and what it aims to do. CBAM is an EU measure and it stands for Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism. The proposal is part of the EU's Green Deal to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions in the EU by 2050. The EU has already set up an internal Carbon Emissions Trading Scheme, or ETS for short, which puts a limit and a price on emissions. Businesses may be incentivized to source certain heavy emission goods from outside the EU where an equivalent carbon price may not exist. As a result, CBAM aims to put a price on the carbon emitted during the production of certain carbon intensive goods imported from outside the EU and to level the playing field for manufacturers within the EU. What do impacted businesses need to do this year? The CBAM proposal requires formal approval at EU level, but the planned start date of the CBAM's transitional phase is the 1st of October this year. This is when new quarterly reporting requirements will be introduced for importers and the first quarterly report will be due in January 2024. These will report on the total quantity of covered imports and their emissions, as well as any carbon price paid in the country of origin. It's then expected that the payment of the new CBAM carbon price on covered imports will start from 2026. Initially, as I've said, CBAM will impact imports of certain products in the aluminium, cement, iron and steel, fertilizers, electricity and hydrogen sectors. But in time, it is expected that CBAM will be extended to other imports. So how will CBAM work in 2026? From January 2026, the plan is for CBAM to function as a purchase and surrender scheme. So from that time, customs authorities will only allow the import of covered goods by an authorized CBAM declarant. Importers of effective goods will be required to purchase CBAM certificates based on the average weekly carbon price in the EU ETS. The importer will then file an annual report detailing the total emissions embedded in their imported goods and will surrender or use CBAM certificates corresponding to those reported emissions. There will be penalties for non-compliance with CBAM. It may be possible though to take a credit for any local carbon price paid on the goods in their country of origin. It's also expected that the authorised CBAM declarant will be able to request its member state to buy back a portion of any unused CBAM certificates, but this will be subject to limits and CBAM certificates will not be tradable. So what should businesses do now? Our recommendation is that businesses operate on the basis that the 1st of October is the go-live date until we're told otherwise by the EU. So practical steps for businesses operating in the affected areas include reviewing your imports to identify the extent to which your imports are covered by CBAM. See whether your non-EU suppliers have identified the emissions embedded in their products. Do they suffer a carbon price in their jurisdiction? Also, see how you can bring your business processes up to speed to allow for the new reporting requirements. Access to quality data will be key for this. If you need professional advice on any aspect of CBAM, then please contact me or your usual KPMG contact. Thank you for watching.